Yo, what is up? If you guys are new here, my name is Gentry Stein. I'm the current world yo-yo champion. In this video, I'm gonna be teaching one of my more advanced tricks. It's actually one that I do in contests. But if you're wanting to start learning, you can pick up a yo-yo on my website, gentrystein.com. I recommend the yo-yo master pack. That'll be the first link in the description. And definitely check out chapter one of my Learn to Yo-Yo series. I've created a playlist right here on my channel to help you guys get started. And that'll also be linked down in the description. The yo-yo I'll be using in this video is the Yo-Yo Factory Shutter Wide Angle, which is what I used to win the most recent world yo-yo contest and I actually just restocked this galaxy colorway on gentrystein.com so you guys know where to get it. A little while back I dropped a tutorial of part one of my wrist mount tech combo which is the first trick I did in my worlds routine. It's a super long trick so in this video we'll be learning part two. guys want to also learn part three let's get this video to 1200 likes and i'll make it happen to get started with part two of the trick let's first do a quick refresh of the last element of part one if you remember that last element looked just like this where we swing the slack around and then swoop the throw hand under leaving us in this cross arm green triangle so again we just start in the trapeze here and then bring our throw hand pointer finger inside that trapeze to open it up and form this triangle flip that non-throw hand so our palms facing outward and just pinch the string then we drop that string off of our throw hand pointer finger, creating that slack, bring it all the way around so the string is lined up on the gap of the yo-yo on the opposite side there. And then we swipe that throw hand under the yo-yo and that's where you're left in the green triangle. So now what you guys have been waiting for, this is where part two of the wrist mount tech combo starts. What we're gonna do from here is just pop the yo-yo out of the green triangle from the front, keeping our arms crossed so it looks just like this. And as we're doing that, when the yo-yo is still in the air, we want to unwrap this twist right here from around our hand. So the way we're going to do that is turn our hand toward ourselves and then all the way around. And you can see that just undoes the wrap there. And at the same time as all of that, we're actually going to do a recapture with our non-throw hand right here. So our arms are going to stay crossed and we just do a recapture like an upside down trapeze. So the way that's going to look all together is like this. And keep in mind, this element is actually quite a bit harder than it looks, but with enough practice, you'll be able to get it. From this point, uncross your hands. So your throw hand is going to go under your non-throw hand. And on its way across, you're going to pull that back string. You're going to pull that to the side as you uncross, and that leaves you right in the double or nothing. Now, when you're in this position, the next couple elements are pretty well known. So what you're going to do is flip the yo-yo over up onto this top string in the same technique as a one and a half mount, right? So we flip the yo-yo over onto that top string and as we do that we're going to find this middle string so you'll notice there's three strings here and we're just going to find that middle string and curl our opposite pointer finger around it and pull it back slightly as we do that we're just going to turn our throw hand pointer finger toward ourselves to an inverted position where our fingers are pointing to ourselves just like this from there we want to point our fingers up Swing the yo-yo over your throw hand. What you want to do is put our thumb on that back string. So when you turn and look at your throw hand side, you'll see a V shape right here. And so you want to put your thumb on the string that's closest to you, so the back of that V. And from there, you just want to underpass the yo-yo with that thumb, and the yo-yo is going to end up landing on that middle string. So you can see again, one, two, three strings. You have the front, middle, and back string. The thumb's on the back string. And as we underpass with our thumb, we bring the yo-yo onto that middle string. All you're going to do from here is roll the yo-yo over. You can see another V shape is formed right here. So as we roll the yo-yo over, we're going to go over our throw hand pointer finger onto that front string right there. And the position we're in here, you can see it set us up for a slack. So if we drop our thumb here, that slack comes over, but our goal is to actually get that slack to come over like a whip. So if we just drop our thumb there, the slack doesn't really look that cool, nothing really happens, and it leaves us just in this mount. So what we want to do instead is get that slack to really come over and actually land on the back of the yo-yo. So it's going to look just like this. And the way we get it to come around like that is we want to actually pop the yo-yo up just a little. We don't necessarily want it to leave this bottom string. We just want to bring it up and keep it in between this top and bottom front string. As we do that, that's going to give us more time for this string to come around so that way we can catch it on the yo-yo. So again, we're gonna pop the yo-yo up and as that's happening, we wanna give a little bit of pressure against that string with our opposite thumb. So when we pull against that string, you can see the difference of if I just drop it versus if I pull that string. 
See how it flips over a little bit more there? So we wanna to try to exaggerate that. Once you can get the string to flip over by pulling it with a thumb that way, we wanna bring a little bit more control into the picture. So what we also wanna do, along with pulling with that opposite thumb, is actually flip our hand over and control that slack with our throw hand. The way that's gonna look is just like this. So you can see that gives you a lot more control in where the slack actually lands. After we catch that slack on the back of the yo-yo, it looks like we're in a kamikaze mount, but it's just a little bit different because of where the strings are positioned. From there, you're just gonna pop the yo-yo up, and you'll see that as the yo-yo is in the air, the string that's coming down in the middle of that whole formation, right there, is what we're gonna pluck with our non-throw hand thumbs. And then the yo-yo falls to the throw hand side of the string, so it looks like that. And when the yo-yo is spinning, it'll look just like this. And just so you have a better understanding of what happened here, remember that slack that came around landed on the back of the yo-yo, and with this step, as we pop the yo-yo up and pluck that string, we're really just pulling that loop back out of the gap of the yo-yo. Then we can just drop the string off our non-throw hand pointer finger, and it leaves us in this kind of trapeze and brother green triangle. From here, we just wanna pop the yo-yo off the back of the green triangle. If we pop it off the front, it'll leave a knot. So pop it off the back, and then just land it on this top string here. Then from there, we're gonna just insert our non-throw hand pointer finger into this loop that's around our thumb. And then we're just gonna pop to a trapeze. And then we wanna wrap the string around our hand to set up another slack for us. So the way we're gonna do that is just wrap our thumb around the front of the string until our pointer finger is pointing forward. And then we wanna open up this trapeze and bring our throw hand pointer finger around the front, pointing toward ourselves inside that trapeze, and then take our thumb away from it. From there, we wanna grab this middle string with our non-throw hand pointer finger and just swing the yo-yo over that string and mount the yo-yo on all the strings together. From there, we're just gonna go back off in the same position. That element's really only there for rhythm. As we're doing that, we wanna curl this non-throw hand pointer finger so that way we can pull this string all the way to the non-throw hand side. Now here, you can see we set ourselves up for another slack because if we push our throw hand forward, you can see the string's gonna reject off the front of the yo-yo. That's because the yo-yo is spinning toward our throw hand side. So as we push that string against it, it's gonna reject off, just like any other rejection. As we're doing that rejection, we actually wanna pinch this string that we have on our non-throw hand pointer finger. That's gonna give us a little bit more control of where to swing the yo-yo. We also wanna pinch this string on our throw hand pointer finger, so that way we can whip it around the yo-yo. Now the slack actually has two steps. It's actually going to be a whip, as well as a trapeze landing. And we don't wanna practice those at the same time. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult that way. So just hold the yo-yo in this position. And what we wanna to do to get the slack going, turn our throw hand pointer finger toward ourselves. So that way we can flip the slack on the inside of our arm, just like this. And you can see that string that we're pinching here with our pointer finger and thumb, that's gonna land around the front of the yo-yo. Now again, as we're doing that, we also wanna be landing a trapeze at the same time. So the way that looks together is just like this. So as you can see, I'm flipping the yo-yo around onto trapeze, bringing that elbow out to invert the hand, get that pointer finger pointing toward yourself, and then flip the slack around to land right there. From there, you'll notice the string's gonna be wrapped around your throw hand pinky, and then you have two loops on both your throw hand fingers. Then we wanna pinch the loop on our non-throw hand with our thumb. Pop the yo-yo up and drop this string off the throw hand pointer finger. From there, we're gonna do another trapeze, and then do an under whip. So this string that's coming around our pinky on our throw hand, we're gonna whip that under around our pointer finger, creating that slack and land that on the back of the yo-yo. The next step's actually my favorite element of part two of the wrist mount tech combo. I actually made this up just a few months before Worlds, so it was one of the newer elements that I had in my routine. And what we're gonna do is just pluck this string that's coming from our middle finger with our non-throw hand thumb. Then we're gonna flip the yo-yo over our non-throw hand pointer finger and cross our throw hand under, landing on this front string. Then just uncross your hands and push that throw hand pointer finger into the loop. And then for my favorite part, you're gonna pinch the loop there and let go of the string on your non-throw hand thumb. And as you do that, you wanna flip the yo-yo over in a full circle around your throw hand. And as that's happening, you wanna grab this slack with your non-throw hand thumb. And so it falls into the string just like that. From there, you just wanna pop the yo-yo back through out of this chopstick position in the opposite direction that you just swung it. So it's gonna pop through the hands back around this way. From there, we wanna pop the yo-yo out over our throw hand pointer finger, 
as we drop this loop off that throw hand pointer finger. And then what we're gonna do is just recapture around the yo-yo with that non-throw hand middle finger. And that's gonna wrap up each element of part two, so let's check it out one more time in slow motion. part two of my wrist mount tech combo i want to let you know i'll be announcing the giveaway winner from the huge august giveaway this friday september 11th right here on my channel along with announcing the giveaway winner i'll also be unboxing some brand new colors of my signature yo-yos so you guys definitely don't want to miss out so i'll see you guys then